Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much again for joining me. So today I have a very fun game that I've asked my husband to help out with. He's not the most magical of folk, so this may be a complete flop, but nonetheless, I've given him an opportunity to help me out with a video idea. I wanted to play a game of magical or muggle. So I asked my husband to research some random magical or muggle world items or creatures and I had to guess which one was which. Now the challenge was that I'm pretty up on my magical knowledge so I asked him to find some really really obscure things to try and trip me up. So Lord knows what kind of items he's come up with but we'll soon see I suppose. So if you would like to play a magical or muggle with me please carry on watching. Okay, so I have a list of 10 items on here and I'm going to go through each one and I'm going to guess if they are magical or muggle. So let's see what we have. Okay, so the first word I have on here is ton tongue toffees. That to me sounds like a Fred and George product. I think that is something that they would definitely come up with. Maybe that's the one that like makes their tongues uh, uh, <laughs> like come out of their mouths like really really big. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go with magical on that one. Yay I was right! See I knew that. All the knowledge of here see. <laughs> okay so the next word is Gardilu. What on earth is a Gardilu? I've literally never ever in my entire life heard that word so I really really couldn't say what that is. Um, it could sound magical I suppose, it could be some kind of magical creature but I don't know, I'm really really confused as to what a guardilo is or a guardi guardilu? I don't know. I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for muggle on that one. Yay, I was right again. So this one is actually really, really gross. Apparently the word Gardilu is a warning call that you call out before emptying chamber pots out of a window. Charming. <laughs> okay, so the next word is Mokeskin Pouch. I honestly don't know where he's come up with these words. I don't know what his browser history is going to look like after this. Um, to me that sounds kind of wrong. <laughs> Um, I, again, I've never ever heard of a mokeskin pouch, but I'm still gonna go with muggle on that one, I think. Oh, damn it. Okay, so I have been informed that this word is actually a type of drawstring pouch that can only be opened by its owner. Literally never heard of it. <laughs> Such a random one. The next word on the list is snolligoster. I again have no idea what this is, it could literally be anything. Snolligoster, it does sound like a little bit like it could be a magical creature but it's definitely not one that I've ever come across before. Um, oh, I suppose it could be an item of some kind but again never heard of, of that word personally. I'm gonna go with muggle. Yay! Cool! Okay, so a snolligoster is a person who is intelligent but has no principles. Okay, so the next time you come across someone who is very well educated but is pretty much willing to do anything, you get to call them a snolligoster. <laughs> next up we have pangolin. A pangolin. I'm trying to even think what these words even sound like they could be like in reference to but literally nothing is coming to mind with that one. A pangolin, it does sound like it could be... I have no idea, I'm gonna guess magical. We haven't had a magical one for a little while so yeah, magical. Ah, oh, damn it, I was really sure I had that one right. Okay, so a pangolin is an odd looking mammal that's found throughout parts of Africa and Asia, and apparently it looks like it could be a cross between an armadillo and an anteater. Do with that what you will. <laughs> Next up we have 
Aglet. I don't even know if I'm saying these words right. Again, I have no idea what this is, so I'm just gonna have to guess at Muggle. Yay, okay, so I got that one right, but I didn't have any idea what this was. But apparently it is the plastic bit at the end of your lace. You learn something new every day. I generally didn't know that that actually even had a name. So there we go. The next one is a winged catapult. That sounds to me like something, again, that you would find either in Fred and George's shop or you would find maybe in Zonko's, a winged catapult. Yeah, I think that sounds like it's something that could belong to a Zonko's store. So I'm definitely gonna go with magical on that one. Yay, okay, so I got that one right too. So that is something that they find in the room of hidden things in the Half-Blood Prints. So yeah, cool. The next one is Marvolo Gaunt's ring. Now this one is 100% magical. I 100% know what Marvolo Gaunt's ring is. It's obviously the Horcrux ring and yeah, 100% magical. Obviously, I definitely knew that one, 100%. I had no doubt in my mind that that was a magical item. Next one is faux glass. I think I could be wrong in this, but this is what I'm remembering in my head. It, that's something to do with Mad Eye Moody. I'm sure he has that in his office. And if you look into it and you can see the whites of someone's eyes, they're standing right behind you or something along those lines. I could be completely wrong in my memory here, but that's what I'm thinking of. So again, I'm gonna go with magical. Yeah, yeah, I was right on that one too. So yeah, that is the big, um, it almost looks in the film like it's a big magnifying lens with a load of like ghosties in it. And apparently the more in focus they are, the nearer they are to you. And if they can see the whites of their eyes, they're right behind you. And the last word we have today is a very random one, but I will give it to you anyway, and we will see if it's magical or muggle. This one is an agraf. It sounds like a wonky giraffe. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with a magical creature on that one. Yeah, magical creature. Ah, damn it, okay. So an agraf is that little metal topper that you get on a bottle of wine with a cork to hold the cork in place. Didn't know that either. Again, you learn something new every day. Okay, so that was it for Magical or Muggle. Um, that was a lot of fun. I think it was really, really random and I apologize for the randomness of it, but I really wanted to give it a go. Thought it looked like a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I, next time I need to find someone that knows a little bit more about magical things because my husband is just strange. I don't care what he was thinking with these. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a magical thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and join my little magical world. I hope you had a really, really good day, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.